Chapter 1 The sun is rising and another day begins. Jago is a Cornish fisherman who, along with his cousin Denzil, goes fishing most days on their boat, which is named the Acorn. She is 30 feet long and has a small forward wheelhouse, leaving a spacious afterdeck for catching fish. Jago and Denzil both treasure the acorn, and with their love and care she has become one of Newlyn's finest fishing boats. Jago and Denzil have owned the acorn since they were young boys. Their fathers were boat builders and they built the acorn from one very large oak tree. This tree was no ordinary tree, it was very special, as it possessed strange mystical powers. This is the story of events that led to the building of the acorn. Many years ago there was a holy man who travelled from village to village and county to county telling stories of God to anyone who would listen to him. One day whilst he was on his travels he found himself walking across a place called Bodmin Moor when suddenly, out of the blue, he was caught in a tremendous thunderstorm. This was no ordinary storm, it was more like a hurricane. The wind was so strong he could hardly stand. He looked around desperately for shelter, but there was none to be found. There was nothing but moorland shrub and gorse in every direction. There was no shelter for him anywhere. He was very tired and hungry and felt he couldn't go on for much longer. Although the thunder and lightning flashed and crashed around him, he wasn't afraid for he believed God wouldn't allow him to die in such a way. But he was now an old man and was feeling he couldn't go on any further. He didn't know what to do, so he just sat down on the wet, mossy grass and waited. He looked into his shoulder bag, feeling around for the last of his food, but all he had left was a crust of bread which had turned to pulp from the driving rain. He sat with his heads between his hands and waited, waiting for what he wasn't sure. It was then he noticed there were lots of small mushrooms growing all around him. These would not have been his first choice of food, but he was very hungry, and he began eating them. They were very small, so he had to eat a lot of them, but they were better than no food at all. Suddenly there was a tremendous clap of thunder, so loud it made his body shake. It was much louder than anything he had ever heard before. He stood up in shock. In front of him now stood the biggest oak tree he had ever seen. It seemed to be glowing all over in a halo of light. At the base of the trunk was an intense bright light. Then he heard a voice. It came from within him, saying, This is the tree of help, and it will bear no seed except for one acorn. Although he heard the words clearly, they came from inside his own mind. He stood up looking at the huge tree in bewilderment. The glow began to disappear, and the light at the base of the trunk grew dimmer. He walked closer towards the tree. He could see a wedge-shaped opening at the base of the trunk. Underneath its branches, the wind and rain seemed to have stopped. Each of its branches was so heavily laden with leaves that they had acted like a big umbrella. Everything within its perimeter was dry. He walked in closer to the tree towards the base of the trunk where the bright light had been. He saw a hollow in the trunk and he peered inside. He could see it was all smooth and shining as if it had been polished, revealing the grain of wood. Carved around the insides of the hollow were crevices shaped like bowls. These bowls were full of wild fruit and nuts. The floor inside the hollow was covered with pliable brown leaves, looking soft and inviting as if ready to be slept on. He began eating the fruits and nuts until he had eaten all he could eat. He curled up on the dry leaves and fell into a deep sleep.